Are you passionate about creating amazing digital experiences? Well, becoming a UI UX designer might be the perfect path for you. As a UI UX designer, you get to blend creativity with problem solving and visually appealing interfaces. Learn design fundamentals, master industry tools, and embrace user-centric thinking. With dedication and practice, you can shape the future of digital design and make your mark in the exciting world of UI UX. Hello and welcome everyone. Today I will be showing you how to become UI UX designer. Before diving into the details, if you haven't already subscribed to our Edureka YouTube channel, make sure to do it. And also, I will suggest you to take up the UI UX certification course. Link is present in the description below. Now, let's get started. So, let's start with the first topic of our video, which is what is the UI? UI stands for user interface. It refers to the visual and interactive elements of a digital product that users interact with. UI encompasses the design of buttons, menus, icons, forms, and other visual elements that enable users to navigate and interact with the website, application, or system. The goal of a well-designed UI is to create a user-friendly and aesthetically pleasing interface that enhances the user's experience and enables them to accomplish their task efficiently. Now, you know what exactly is UI. So, let's go through what falls into UI. First one is virtual design. UI focuses on how things look in a digital product, like buttons, menus, and colors. It's about making things visually appealing and easy to understand. Second one is easy interaction. UI is responsible for making it easy for users to interact with a digital product. It includes things like tapping buttons, scrolling, and swiping gestures to navigate and use the product. Third one is organized information. UI is about organizing information in a way that makes sense to the users. It involves structuring content, using headings and labels, and arranging elements in a logical order, so users can find what they need quickly. Fourth one is user-friendly experience. Ultimately, UI aims to create a user-friendly experience. It's about making things easy so users can use their product without confusion or frustration and have an enjoyable time doing so. Moving on to our very next topic, what is UX? User experience refers to overall experience that a person has when interacting with a product, system, or service. It focuses on how users perceive, feel, and interact with the design. UX design aims to create meaningful and enjoyable experiences by considering users' needs, goals, and preferences. A good UX design enhances user satisfaction, increases engagement, and drives positive business outcomes. As you are now familiar with the definition, let's go through the key points of UX. First one is user satisfaction. UX focuses on creating positive experiences for users. When they interact with a product or a service, it aims to ensure that users feel satisfied, happy, and accomplished while using the digital product. Second one is ease of use. UX is about making things easy for users. It involves designing interfaces that are simple to understand and navigate. The goal is to minimize any confusion or frustration users may face while interacting with the product. Third one is meeting user needs. UX considers the needs, goals, and desires of the users. It involves conducting research to understand their preferences and designing solutions that address their specific requirements. Fourth one is seamless interactions. UX is concerned with the overall flow and the coherence of the user's journey. It ensures that all the different elements and interactions within the product work together smoothly and create a seamless and enjoyable experience for users. We got to know what UI UX is, so now let's see how they actually look like. So the next slide we have is what does a UI designer do? UI designers design all the screens that make up a digital user interface, as well as the individual elements feature on those screens. Their goal is to create user interfaces that look great, accurately, and convey the brand and are easy and enjoyable to navigate from the user's perspective. And now, the second one is what do UX designers do? UX designers covers all aspects of product's development from design to usability to function are the responsibility of UI UX designer. Users' end-to-end -end contact with the product is at the heart of their work, including seeing new prospects for the product and company. We got to know what UI UX is, so now let's see how they actually look like. You need to see these two logos and how they are quite appealing. That's how UI UX works. Apple and Spotify both exemplify exceptional UI UX design in their respective platforms. Apple boasts a clean or minimalist interface with sleek visuals and navigation. Their focus on simplicity allows users to effortlessly explore and interact with their devices and software. Meanwhile, Spotify offers a visual captivating 
an immersive experience utilizing album artwork and personalized playlists to engage users. Both companies prioritize user-centric design and ensuring that their UI UX experiences prioritize ease of use, aesthetics, and a delightful overall user experience. After getting visuals, you should definitely need to know what are the skills required to be an UI UX designer. Follow up with me to know that. The first one is design fundamentals. Understanding design principles like layout, typography, and color theory to create visually appealing and cohesive interfaces. User research. Gathering insights about user behaviors, needs, and preferences to inform design decisions, create user-centric experiences. Wireframing and prototyping. Creating low-fidelity wireframes and interactive prototypes to visualize and test design concepts and interactions. Fourth one is interactive design. Designing engaging interactions, including animations and transitions, to enhance the usability and user experience. The fifth one is user testing and evolution. Conducting usability tests and gathering user feedback to assess the effectiveness and the usability of designs. And the sixth one is communication and collaboration. Effectively communicating design ideas and collaborating with cross-functional teams, stakeholders and clients to ensure project success. Now, we got the visuals, we learned the skills. Now our preparation is half ready. So let's start with the practical part by telling you how to become UI UX designer. To become a UI UX designer, starting by learning design fundamentals and principles, gain knowledge in user research, wireframing and prototyping, develop skills in interactive design and usability testing, build a strong portfolio showcasing your work and collaborate with the other designers. To get the experience which you need, you need to first master a few tools, which I will be telling you in this slide. First, we will start with how to seek educational resources and self-learning. Begin with the basic understanding of design principles, user psychology, and the technology used in design. You can earn a degree in design, human-computer interaction, or a related field. But many successful UI UX designers are self-taught. Online platforms offer a plenty of courses on UI UX design. I will be suggesting you one of the best courses. Revolutionize your design career with Edureka's UI UX course. Learn from the industry experts in flexible, online format, and gain practical skills through interactive hands-on assignments. To land your dream job in this career path or else you can do opt for the google ux course which provides you with the certification and teach you the fundamentals of ux now to get the experience you need to first master a few tools which i will be telling you in this slide the first one is sketch sketch is a vector based design tool for creating ui designs it offers interface extensive plugin support and features like symbols and artboards making it popular among designers and the second one is adobe xd Adobe XD is a powerful tool for designing and prototyping user experiences. It allows you to create interactive prototypes, design system components, and collaborate with others seamlessly. The third one is quite popular, Figma. Figma is a cloud-based design tool that enables real-time collaboration, making it ideal for remote teams. And the last one is Envision. Envision is a widely used prototyping tool that allows designers to create interactive and animative prototypes. It supports design collaboration, user testing, and feedback gathering. Even if you are skilled, but you don't know how to showcase it, it is a waste of time. So let's learn how to develop your professional portfolio in this slide. First one is compile your best work. Your portfolio is visual representation of your abilities and experiences. So ensure that include your only your best work. Try to showcase a variety of projects that highlight different aspects of UI UX design, such as wireframing, prototyping, etc. If you are new to the field, consider including academic or personal projects. The second one is create detailed case studies. Instead of merely displaying final designs, each project should be presented as a case study that walks the viewer through your design process. This should cover the problem you are trying to solve, your research process, sketches, and early designs. Third one is make your portfolio user-friendly. Apply your UI UX skills to make your portfolio design. Make it easy to navigate and ensuring that viewers can easily find your work and the information about you. Your portfolio should also be mobile responsive as many people may access it from their phones or tablets. Last one but not the least one, showcase your personal brand. Your portfolio is not just your only work, it's about you. Include an about me section where you can discuss your design philosophy, your approach to UI UX and what drives you as a designer. This helps potential employers or clients understand who they are working with and what goals you can set apart from other designers. 
Now, let's shift to the most crucial part, which is how to gain practical experience. First one is apply for internships. Look for internships, programs at design agencies, tech companies, or startups. These opportunities provide hands on experience working on real projects under the guidance of experienced professionals. The second one is freelance or volunteer for design projects. Offer your UI UX design services as freelancer or volunteer for non profit organizations, local businesses, or startups. The third one is participate in design competitions or hackathons. Engage in design competitions or hackathons that focus on UI UX design challenges. These events provide an opportunity to work on real time bound projects, collaborate with other designers, and receive feedback from industry experts or judges. And the last one is join design communities and seek peer feedback. Join online design communities or forums where designers share their work and provide feedback to each other. Platforms like Dribble, Behance, or UX design forums are great places to connect with. As we finish off the learning part, let me conclude this with the average salaries of UI UX designers to give you a basic idea of exposure in the field of UI UX. First, I will go with the United States. The average UI UX designer salary in the US is $97,187. In India, the average UI UX designer salary is $5,50,000. And in Canada, the average UI UX designer salary is $84,646. So, yeah, that's a huge amount. In conclusion, to become a UI UX designer, develop a strong design foundation, gain proficiency in design tools, build a portfolio, seek practical experience, and continuously seek feedback to refine your skills and stay ahead in this dynamic field. I hope you like this video and don't forget to comment about your favorite part in the video. Until then, happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!